Hi there, Neil Clark here from Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com. Welcome to the channel. Videos contained here are designed as aid memoirs for my pupils, although they're free for anyone to use. If you're benefiting from the videos, please subscribe to the channel. This is completely free to do. May I also ask that you consider supporting my chosen charity, Parkinson's UK, by donating to my Just Giving page. The link to that page may be found in the comments box below this video. Today, it's Thursday the 4th of November 2021 and it's day number 96 of the Piping 100 Challenge. We're nearly done. Today we're at Keneal House in Bowness or Boristown Ness to give it his full name. Nobody calls it that. So Keneal House built in the 1500s by the Earl of Arran, James Hamilton. Very, very interesting guy, very successful guy. He was the Regent, Regent Arran in the extreme minority that is to say, when Mary Queen of Scots was pretty much born. And quite a successful guy. Turbulent time, originally a Catholic, converted to Protestantism and then converted back to Catholicism again. But the family as, as a whole did very, very well. He ended up building Châtelerault uh, House near uh, Hamilton, in fact. The house itself, oh, uh, James Watt developed the steam engine in its early stages here, not in Glasgow, like Boris Johnson said. In fact, if Boris Johnson said it was developed in Glasgow, you pretty much know that that's not going to be true. It was here in Keneal Estate. Um, the house was going to be demolished in 1936, uh, and luckily they actually found some very, very valuable and historically interesting paintings, which saved it from being demolished. It's now open to the public by appointment only through the friends of Keneal here who are looking after it. So we hope it goes from strength to strength, as it should. Really, really impressive building. Quickly to the tunes. We need to do Flower of Scotland. Originally I was going to do that at the Bruce statue in Bannockburn, but we're not going to have time to get there before the 100 tunes are finished. So we'll do it here. Quick word about that. Written by uh, Roy Williamson of the Corries, and the way that it's written down in most piping books, there's actually a beat short on an F. They give it two beats. There should be three beats, and I'll play it with the three beats. That's why half the time at the Rugby Internationals, the pipe bands finish before the crowd are finished singing the song. So we'll play it the way it was written by Roy. And after that, we'll do another old favourite, uh, which is Murdo's Wedding, written by Major Gavin Stoddart, who's still knocking about, he's just keeping a kind of low profile. So the Flower of Scotland and Murdo's Wedding for you. Thank 